In this tutorial video, we are going to show you how to add DevOps custom fields into your time tracker reporting widgets. We're going to create a simple table. We will use the work items OData endpoint and version 3.1, which is the latest version of OData endpoints. In order to check how to add custom fields, we are going to refer to our seven page time tracker reporting API version three article, where you can find all the information on our API that is available. We're going to head over to the custom fields section. And here we see that the custom fields can be used with the following endpoints, the work items endpoint, the work items hierarchy, and also they can be used with the work items hierarchy, all levels endpoint. You can specify up to five custom field names for each data type and the data types that can be used are string, numeric, and Boolean. You will need to place them in your select part of your query and separate them by a comma. So they are going to look like this. Custom string field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Custom numeric field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And Boolean as well, depending on how many custom fields you will be using in your query. Over here, we have an example of a query that uses custom fields. And here in this last part, we see that the custom fields are defined here. So here, this query is using custom fields named project code, finance, and order. So we are going to copy this into our query. So this is the part where we define the custom field we will be using. And to check the name of the custom field, we need to head on over to our organization settings, boards, process, and select the process where we added a custom field. In my case, this is the basic inherited epic. We will be using the demo field and demo field two. And here on this page, we can see that the demo field is a text type. And then we have this Boolean here. So this text type is string field. In order to check the name, we click on edit, head on over to the options tab, and we are going to copy this name here, custom dot demo field and paste it into our query. Then we're going to do the same for the second field that we will be using. Click on edit, options, and copy this name here, custom.demo field2, and paste it in here. Now we see that the table is loading again, so we have defined our custom fields. However, we do not see our custom fields and as the article said we need to put it into the select so what we're going to do is just going to copy this custom string field one we're going to place it into a select and now we're getting an error saying that um, is not valid in a select because I'm missing an end here. And now it's saying that the tract itself is not supported. So what we need to do is we need to add tract, tract itself into the select part of the query. And we also need to add all the fields that we are using into the select part of the query, because if we do not, they will not be displayed. When there is no select, then the query is selecting everything, every single field that is available in the endpoint. So when we do use a select, we need to specify each field that we want the query to load. Now that I've added all these fields, we see that the table is loading. And the last part that we need to do is we need to add the actual columns for our custom fields. So what we're going to do is quickly copy this. We're going to change the field here change the name demo field we're going to remove the formatter because we don't need a formatter here set the width to 100 and here we have the demo field column now and we're going to just copy this column paste it and change to custom string field to 2 and to demo field 2 and now we have the columns here and the last thing to do here to display more than the top 10 we're just going to delete this top 10 filter and click on save and here we have the columns 
And if we scroll down, we see that this demo epic work item number 12 contains values for both of these fields. Thank you for your attention. We hope that this was informative and we hope that you're enjoying your experience with 7Pace.